Hello. Okay, next tutorial. Uh, this look is Heath Ledger's The Joker, or The Joker, Heath Ledger as The Joker. Um, this look was actually requested by Zandrialex. I'll put the link there. Um, sorry I pronounced the name wrong. Um, but yeah, they've requested me to do the Heath Ledger look. So it's quite simple to do. Um, I'm going to try and make this video as short as possible because there's not a lot of technical skill involved in doing it. It's all rough and lots of just silly blending and just make it look as sloppy as possible. The only thing that might be a little bit difficult is the wax for some people, but as I said state later on in the video, you don't have to do that. You can just do it with just a line of colour and do a little bit of shading underneath it to make it look more as deep as it can possibly look. So I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. I'm so sorry that it's been this long since releasing my next tutorial. Um, I hope you guys had a fabulous Christmas and a wonderful New Year's. Um, I just took all my decorations down and I feel really sad now, so I'm a sad Heath Ledger clown. Hmm. I also want to mention, just before I start the tutorial, um, I've been getting some amazing feedback from all of you guys. Um, I've been getting loads of personal messages come through and I love getting them. Um, seriously guys, if, if you want to know anything on how to do anything specifically or you've got a really specific request for a tutorial or anything, just send me a message. I'm happy to reply. I, I love all of your comments. I love all your feedback and I love everything. Any um, suggestions on how I can improve these videos, I would love to hear them. So keep them going. Love it. <laughs> also, I don't think I've actually ever mentioned this in my videos. I might have. I might be having a mad moment. Um, but I've actually got my own website, which has been going now for quite a few months. But I'll put the link here and in the link below. Um, so if you're bored, you might want to check it out maybe. It's got all of my makeup pictures on there, or most of my makeup pictures on there. And it's got all these tutorials all categorised and all that stuff, basically. Yeah, they might be worth a check out. It might be um, cure a little bit of boredom, maybe. I don't know. <laughs> so yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the tutorial. Okay, so to start off with, I'm going to apply some scars, okay? Because Heath Ledger has two scars going across his cheeks, doesn't he? It's like a Chelsea smile type thing. Uh, well, it is Chelsea smile. Um, so he's got one that goes straight up and one that goes across. So it's not symmetrical. It's not meant to be symmetrical or neat. It's just meant to be just like rough, sliced, jobby. Okay, so there are many ways of doing this. Um, I'm going to be using um, wax, like nose plastic wax, that type of thing when, for making cuts. The reason for this is it's more theatrical. From a distance, it will look the most effective. Um, but there are other ways of doing it. Like, you could use liquid latex, but um, because it's such a small cut on either side, I don't really want to use the latex because I just it won't blend as nicely. And uh, I don't know. The other way of doing it is with rigid collodion. Now, collodion is great for uh, close-ups and um, like camera work, stuff like that, because you, you apply it on wet and it dries and puckers the skin, so it does, it's meant to be for scars. So like Edward Scissorhands would be great because his face is covered in it. Um, those kind of cuts basically. Um, the last option is using a prosthetic, which I was going to use, but to be honest, for this kind of look it can be easily done with wax, so that's what I'm going to do. Then I just went in with an eyeliner pencil and just traced on where I'm going to put the wax. It doesn't look really neat at all because I'm going to go over it with the wax, so it's not a problem. I used red just because if it does accidentally show in places, it doesn't matter because red's going to be there anyway. Um, so yeah, I just went slightly up but across on one side and completely up on the other side, so it's not symmetrical. I just did a couple extra little cuts that I've noticed from the pictures on Google. Um, I'm just looking at pictures of the scene where he hasn't got any of the makeup on. Um, and that's giving me a good reference, actually, of where the scar should be. Okay, so then I'm going to get my scar wax, or nose putty wax, and I'm going to start applying it um, on a light layer of it over the red marks. All right, and then I'm going to take my trusty spatula. I love this. This is my most favourite tool of all my all my brushes, all my makeup. For some reason, I just love it. <laughs> um, but yeah, I'm, I'm just going to use this. You can use this, a wooden spatula or anything. I just, the fun spatula is a lot easier to smear the um, wax on. And I'm just going to take a small amount of it and just rub it onto my skin where the red marks are. Okay, so once you've just rubbed it across and you've left some behind, it doesn't matter if it's neat, it doesn't have to be. Um, once you've got a base layer there, brilliant. You can start working it with your fingers. Just be very careful and try not to touch it too much because uh, the hotter your hands are and the more you rub it, it will start um, falling off and sticking to your fingers and it will just be a mess and really hard to work. Um, but yeah, once you've done that, if you wanted to add some more, just take a small amount, roll it into a ball, and then just lightly press it down. Um, I know some people use Vaseline on their fingers when they're applying those putty wax, just so it doesn't stick to them. Um, I just personally just try to touch it as less as I can, um, basically. <laughs> 
So yeah, I'm going to do the other side now, I'm just going to smear the wax across. Right, so now I've got the base layer down, I can start blending the edges. But you'll know when you're done, when it feels thick enough that when you mark it, there'll be a deep enough cut, basically. Okay, so just gently rub the edges until you can't see the seam anymore, so you know it's all blended in. Then take either a toothpick or something that has a point, basically. I'm not going to use the um, side of my spatula because it's quite sharp. And I'm just going to mark in between the wax. Don't worry about, like, I mean, don't spend too long doing it and trying to make it look perfect because it really doesn't matter because at the end of the day you're going to be covering it white and red anyway. You, it's more there for the texture and the depth more than anything. Okay, so once you've done that, I'm going to start applying foundation. Actually, I've just had uh, a different thought. Um, I've just started applying some collodion to this as well, just to give it some even more, just even more depth and more puckering. Um, particularly, I'm, I'm, I want it to be here on the nasal labial folds, the this area, because I want that depth to be there all over the face, not just the scars. And I don't really want to apply wax here, so. I just thought I'd give it a try. If it works, amazing. If it doesn't, then don't do this step. <laughs> but yeah, I'm just applying collodion all over here, and I might apply some on my lip as well. Just places where wax, you wouldn't really want to put it. Okay, so it's been five minutes, and the collodion has well and truly dried. Um, I definitely think it has added more depth to the look, and I think it's a success, to be honest, using that. Um, if you can't get hold of it, it's fine. Use wax. If not, you can do shading, which I'm going to do a little bit with anyway, um, around here, just to make the, this area look a bit more swollen. And because this whole part, part of his face here would have been all um, what well, damaged, isn't it? So it's all going to be inflamed and everything. Anyway, so I'm going to start now on my foundation. So I'm using Snazaru Clown White on its own, pure. Not I'm not mixing it with anything um, because I'm not. I, I'm just applying it all over my face. I'm not going to be blending it. Um, I'm going to have harsh lines and it's just going to look really rough and most of it's going to be wiped off by the end of the look anyway just to make it look distressed and like it's been worn for ages and ages and ages and just really sloppily done. So I just went quickly over, um, really, really thin layer so you can see the skin underneath still, really sloppily done, just to make it look rough and rushed, that's the idea. And um, when I went over the scars, I dabbed the brush on, just so I didn't wipe off any of the wax or anything like that, to be fairly fragile with it. I'm not going to powder it because it's going to look shiny and it needs to be blendable and it just needs to look rough, that's the idea. Okay, so now I'm going to start on the lips. I'm using a red Snazaru watercolour and I'm going to use a really fine brush. And I'm just going to go start off by tracing the inside of the cuts on the mouth. Okay, I then went over it with some Grimace Cream Red as well. Just so now I can get the end of my brush, make it a little bit wet, and just blend the red. Yeah, and I've added some little bits of Grimace Brown, Cream Brown as well, just to darken it up a little bit. The brilliant thing about this look is you can be as messy as you want. You just blend things and just have fun with it, really. If you want to wipe something off, do it. Just wipe it completely off and just cover it with white. Okay, I'm then going to take a Snazaru Black Watercolour and I'm going to cover my both of my eyelids. Now, I'm only going to be covering my eyelids because the outside of it I'm going to be covering with black cream so I can blend it outwards. Okay, so just go in and just cover completely both your eyelids and just underneath your eye. Okay, and then I'm going to take my Grimace Cream Black, which I love, 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 love. It's I love this colour so much. It's just really, really, really deep. It's a really nice dark colour and it blends amazingly. So then I'm just going to go all around the outside of the watercolour. Now the idea of this is not to make like panda eyes. You want the shape to be, like not circle, you want to follow your eyebrow line. 
and try not to go beyond your eyebrow with, with the colour until we blend. So take a clean brush, make it a little tiny bit damp, and we're going to start blending this outwards. So it's going to be rough and messy. So I'm just going to blend the edges like that, just keep flicking it. Okay, I then got a makeup wipe and started furrowing my brows and making as many wrinkles and gestures as I can um, to get these these lines, these, this effect. So I literally got a makeup wipe, did this, and went inwards and swept it outwards. Okay? I then went in with the same brush I used for my foundation and just started dabbing around the black. If you like, you can blend with your fingers, like the corners of your eyes, just blend it outwards. Just make sure every time you move to a different area, you change the fingers, because if, if you start blending with a finger or brush or something that's already got colour on it, you're not going to blend, you're just going to add to it. That, the idea is to take it away, taper it off, basically. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I just then put a little bit of fake blood on my lips, just a tiny, tiny bit, just to get a bit of shine and a bit, a bit more messier and, yeah. Okie dokie, and finally, the Joker would not be the Joker without his trademarked green and black, well, in this case, green and black, green hair, really. Um, so I've purposely not done anything to my hair. Um, it's still a little bit wet. My hair is not, my hair's naturally white, fairly wavy, so it will help for this look. Um, so I'm going to go at it with some green and black hairspray, and I'll be right back. Well, that was fun. <laughs> right, so um, my hair is officially all gross and green. Just gonna style it in the way I think it should be. And there we are. Um, so I just sprayed my hair green and black in random places. Um, I just threw on a jacket and tie and waistcoat. I haven't got a purple uh, coat or a green waistcoat, I'm afraid, and I haven't got time to make one this time, I'm sorry. Uh, hopefully the purple gloves will do. But yeah, this look is quite simple, really. I mean, you can even do it without the uh, collodion or without the wax. You don't have to, you can use, as I said, you can use latex. You don't have to use anything. You can just do the colour. Um, if you're particularly good at shading, you can get the depth that way. Um, I just thought it would be a neat little thing to try out and see how it looks in the end result. And I don't know, what do you guys think? If you like it, please thumb up. If you don't like it, then that makes me a very sad clown. But I try. <laughs> Make sure to keep leaving your requests below in the comments or on my main page. I will try and do as many of them as possible, as always, and it will go on the wall as uh, my to-do makeups. Um, uh, oh, biggest point, um, I've officially reached 2,000 subscribers, yay! <laughs> Thanks guys, it's so awesome! Um, so I will be having another contest very, very, very shortly. Um, I might film it after this actually, but I'm going to be choosing the contest at random using my iPad software thingy that I made, um, and we'll get that going straight away. So stay tuned for that video because I'm going to be releasing it very, 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 very shortly. So I hope you guys enjoyed this look and until next time, bye! <laughs>